Okay, we're gonna answer the first question. Which is, are DACP methods in open the UDB or TCP? Now let's look at Wireshark. And what do we see here? This is in UDP. So. For question two, we need to draw a timing diagram in between the same of the first four packets. Explain between the client and server. For each pack, indicate the sort of destination phone number. Are the phone number the same as in the exam in this lab assignment? Wait. Okay, to answer question two, let's first go to Wireshark. What we need to do, we click statistics, and we click flow graph, which will give us this flow graph right here. And as we're seeing this flow graph, we're seeing that 67 and 68 are present in the first four DACP packets, discover, request, offer, and act. And so then we write that they are the same for each packet. For each packet and then we'll do question number three we'll answer that later hold on a bit okay for question number three what is the link link or the ethernet address of our heart so basically the address would be in this one which would be zero zero 08744F3623. So then we write that down. We write However, I might be wrong in this case. I'm not sure. We'll see. Okay, what the link? No, what about in the DHCP discover message? Different this message from the request message. Uh, we'll look at that in a bit. All right, as we're looking in Wireshark, when the discover and. The only method I see is this coming. Now let's look in the request. Method time. The same thing here in the request. The method time is request. So. We could say. For the bank that DACP is coming in the right. Are only those two? Uh -huh. Maybe let's check back again. Link one DCP discovery one and the request link one and the DACP request three three yeah so it could be either those factions but let's write the message. The values of the ACP discover message are Mm 
I think I've been lo- a lot of folks. I'll come back in the in the public.